Today's video finds us over here in Myanmar. As you can see behind me is something that looks pretty interesting. It's uh, known as the uh, Taj Mahal of Myanmar. It's uh, fantastic. It's this white temple and you'll see that it has these like little ridges and it's supposed to symbolize like the seven mountain ranges around the mythical mountain of uh, Mount Maru. So anyway, uh, this was built by one of the uh, kings in this area for his uh, first queen. And uh, we'll take a look and see what we see. So this is a styling I've never seen before. You can see it's round and it has kind of those uh, little wave things. So there's seven different levels and then you can go up and go up to that chetty. So let's go over there and let's take a look at that. First we got to go through this little gate and we'll see how this is. So here we go. So you can uh, buy some things for the temple here and then uh, you have people that have these fans, people try to sell you uh, like little jewelry, everything else. And they'll hold the umbrella over you if you want to where you're not too hot. And you'll be attacked by uh, people wanting to sell you some things. Now they have that bird right above the archway. Oh, this is fantastic. And then the outer wall here. And it has all those like little uh, chetties kind of in the middle of that. You see this uh, has been kind of whitewashed over the top of it. I don't know if it was a uh, brick and then they put the plaster and then they've just whitewashed it. That's what I would assume it is. So you can walk all the way around the central pagoda on each of these levels. And they have this, uh, this walkway here. It's kind of hot today. It's about 40 degrees or so. So the ground is a bit hot underfoot. You got to take your shoes off to get in here. But you can see there's seven levels. That's This is the second one here. And uh, you climb up each, each one. And these symbolize, like I said, this is the seven mountain ranges of uh, Mount Maru. And I have some uh, little friends that are trying to help me here. They're, uh, hello. Hello. Hello, Minglaba. Minglaba? Oh, that's how you say hello in uh, Burmese is Minglaba. <laughs> you can see that they always have the little powder and stuff on their face. So this is the center. Oh, wow. This is... So the floor here or the ground is just raw concrete. I don't know if they planned on maybe putting marble here someday, but right now there's nothing there. And then inside these little alcoves, they have an image in each one. And then same as up there. And then that goes up to the pagoda. And it has that gold umbrella that you see here in Myanmar. So you can see these little images here inside of each one. Pretty cool. And then uh, the doorway over here. Let's go inside of that. Need to get out of the sun. This ground is scalding hot. Woo! They have this little white walkway. It cools things off. That concrete is really, really hot. So there's a stairwell here that goes up. It's a little wind coming in, so it feels pretty good. Let's go up inside here. So here's a, uh, hello. <laughs> She's sleeping in there. Okay, so this is the Buddha image up here at the top. Now it smells really nice because they have these little white flowers that people come here and leave as offerings. And they're quite loud here. It's an interesting Buddha with a little gold ro uh, robe on it. You come up here and you make a little donation to the temple. Oh, there's a second Buddha behind. Oh, I didn't even notice that. And different styling. So the Burmese look here, you'll see it has the 
the red lips, and then they put that little symbol on its uh, forehead, and then they also paint the fingernails. So uh, the gold one has its eyes down and a different look on the face and everything. So you can walk around the outside of that little part of the pagoda. So you have these have the gold umbrellas on them. And then they have these figures also around the top. Yeah, this is pretty interesting to see. And it has the birds above the archways. Yeah, pretty cool. And I guess this is as high as we can go. I don't think we can go up any higher. You can kind of see the, uh, the surroundings. There's a gold chetty over there. They have chetties all the way up on the hill. And then it's kind of a scrub brush. Not sure, like a, it looks kind of like a mesquite bush or something like that up on all these hills. It looks nothing like I envisioned whenever I thought about uh, Myanmar. Because I've been to, to it across the border in Thailand, but it's always like lush jungle. Out here is so much different. It's so dry. And it's right next to the Irrawaddy River. You can see it has like the palms and stuff, but uh, it's pretty, pretty dry. I'm sure it looks a lot different during the rainy season, but it's still pretty arid compared to uh, what I thought it would look like. All right, so let's go down these stairs here and uh, we'll look around the outside a little bit more. You can see kind of how it's, uh, it's built. Stairs aren't too bad, it's kind of narrow, so if anybody's coming up, you gotta kind of dodge them. And this is the seven stairs, seven levels to go down. Look again here at this courtyard and then up at this pagoda. Yeah, it's quite, quite beautiful. So here's the little crew that's been following us around. <laughs> pretty funny. They know like, uh, I am fine, thank you, and you, but they're, uh, they're pretty cute kids. Kind of a cool look at the archway. It's kind of built like a, like a lotus. And around the outside here, it has a little walkway that goes down through the, the bushes and stuff. And it has the old wall. Looks like they've never uh, restored it. Now I guess this was abandoned. It was built, you know, by the one Burmese king that uh, built it for his queen. And then it was uh, abandoned and kind of fell into disrepair. And then it was refurbished by a later king. And I'm not sure. I'll put as much information into the description as I can. I read about it and I get here and I forget about it because it's quite beautiful to see. Yeah, it'd be nice if we could go all the way up to like that uh, around the bell at the bottom, but we just oh, can't. You can see the the gate that hasn't been refurbished. So they've painted it on the outside, but then the bricks are all exposed. And then they just have houses and a little pagoda and everything in there. All right, guys, so that's gonna finish up our video over here at this uh, white pagoda, the Taj Mahal of Myanmar. It is fantastic, it's quite beautiful. The styling is something I've never seen before. It's with those little waves and uh, you know symbolizing the seven mountain ranges around Mount Maru. It's definitely something to come and see if you're in this area. I mean, it's nothing like super spectacular as far as like, like a world-class destination, but it's definitely unique and it's something I've never seen before. Definitely worth your time if you're in this area to come and see. So I would uh, recommend it if you find yourself over here in Mandalay, just uh, come over here and uh, take a look. It's over here in, I think the area is like Mingguan, something like that. And uh, definitely uh, check it out if you would like. So anyway, I got these people just following me around, kind of distracting. So uh, anyway, if you, uh, if you like the video, make sure you smash like and uh, subscribe to my channel. If you're new here, this is what I do. I show you things that I see and tell you a little bit about what I know. And uh, if you have any questions, leave me a comment down below if you want to come or uh, if you're interested in this at all, or, or uh, if you've been here, tell me in a comment down below also. So from over here in Myanmar, remember guys, life is a journey. So until next time, enjoy.